Hi there and welcome to another episode of Zone Out. Today we'll be looking at touchscreen mobile phones and right here I have... Okay, where's my phone? Hi and welcome to what the Zone Out! <laughs> <laughs> don't drop the phone! Don't drop the phone! Don't drop the phone! Uh, oops. Today we'll be looking at two different touchscreens used in phones. That's right, we have uh, capacitive phones and resistive phones. Mm -hmm. But Kenny, you know that capacitive phones aren't really well liked by women? In fact, my women friends have what, told what? me that. Wait, you have women friends? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay. So, anyway, uh, my women friends have told me that um, they prefer phones with physical buttons or um, keypads that they can actually use. Okay, wait, but what's the problem with fingernails anyway? I mean, for resistive phones, you can use your nails like a stylus, and if you're not comfortable with it, you can always just cut your nails. But, but it's for fashion sakes, baby. Fashion. Ew. Okay, wait, wait, tell you what, prove it to me. Prove what? Well, prove that you can type an SMS faster than me with long fingernails on a capacitive touch screen and I'll eat my words. Unfortunately, I don't have one month to uh, grow up my nails, so I've gotten help from my women friends to do some magic. Uh. I'm ready. It's apparent that nails aren't the way to go when it comes to capacitive touch screens. That's right, but if you think about it, uh, most capacitive touch displays actually have a huge display screen, so... Mm. Yep, so what really matters is how comfortable you are and what you prefer when it comes to touch screen devices. Well, of course, if you're you know, worried about scratching your screen or breaking a nail... Ah! <laughs> my nails! <laughs> yeah, like how it is here. Well, you get the idea. So that's it for today's Zone Out, and we'll see you next time. My nails! <laughs>